If you're watching this video, you want to know these three costly mistakes to avoid when using Google AdWords. Hello there, my name is Leo, and um, if that's you, then stay tuned. I own a first of all, let me tell you, tell you a little bit about um, my company, Digital Track, and a little bit about my about me, right? So I'm a local resident here in Fairfield in Solano County area, and I created a company called Digital Track to help those small businesses here in North Solano County area that are currently doing advertising uh, through different mediums, either be print media, like magazines, newspapers, or perhaps even radio. And they just wanna know how to get online, how to advertise online those offers that are, they are already doing through print media. Also, I'm looking to help small business owners or help small business owners that are currently doing advertising online but they just want somebody else to take over that, right? Because either they could be too busy doing something else within their business that they just want somebody to take over that responsibility of currently of constantly doing adver online advertising, keep up with new changes that go on, having to deal with the little technical stuff that goes on, reference to putting one ad together, now another ad together, tracking the the things that are goes on in the back end, right? And putting, you know, the little images and uh, logos, and putting the copy if needed, etc. Okay, so enough of, about me and my company. Let's go ahead and get started again. If you're watching this video, then you wanna know these three custom mistakes to avoid when using Google AdWords. If that's you, then let's go ahead and get started. So let me ask you a question first. Do you ever feel like your small business will get a better return on investment by literally lighting your money on fire than using Google AdWords? I'm gonna give you a minute here. But again, if you answer yes to that question, let's go ahead and continue. You began your AdWords campaign for your small business with the high hopes and you launch it, right? You, you say you launch it, you were excited, you were thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna f start fulfilling orders. Customers are gonna start rushing through the door. My phone is gonna start ringing, but none of that happens, right? Let's say then you went ahead and attempted to fix it. You start using different keywords. You started changing the ad copy a little bit. You started watching YouTube videos or reading some articles and see what other so-called experts were you know, telling you about something next, what to do next. However, with each new fix, you still spend just more money and time, and even worse, just, just you know, your passion just got lower. So if this is your experience, don't worry, you're not alone, right? This is something that I myself had to learn from. For example, there was a situation where I was advertising for bunch of keywords and that's when i'm gonna be actually our first mistake i was I, you know bidding for a bunch of keywords and then wasn't really congruent with what i was trying to say and somebody reached out to me for help them to advertise we advertise their business with ecom services right they were selling stuff online which is something that i don't do or never done before but again because my the keywords that I used were too broad, right? That issue happened to me. So again, no worry if you make these mistakes, you're not alone, right? Uh, almost all small businesses make custom mistakes when they start using AdWords. And this is because the AdWords system penalizes you, but at the same, you know, for stuff that we don't even know we're doing, but at the same time, they encourage it, these mistakes. The more you mistakes you make, the more the mistakes you make, the more money you, they make, right? Because let's face it, they are business. They make money, excuse me, by people clicking on your ad. Now, this video, what I'm trying to do with this video is to make sure from now on we can understand when we are making these mistakes that I'm going to cover, but more importantly, learn how to correct them to put you in the path to actually get uh, benefit from Google AdWords. So again, as I mentioned before, mistake number one that I'm gonna cover is 
using keywords that are too broad. I gave you the example earlier about how I use um, a keyword just like online advertising, but it wasn't specific to what type of business, right? And I got the call from somebody selling stuff online. Keyword is set by default to have your keywords in broad match. Now, this causes your keyword to match for a huge variety of uh, searches that you never intended for, that are not really too related to what the offer or the goal that you were thinking in your mind about that specific ad that you were launch that you launch. So, for example, if you own a pizza here in uh, let's say Fairfield where I live, right? And you use Google AdWords by beating a keyword, let's say, pizza delivery in Fairfield. Now, you assume that a hungry person out there that is going to go into Google and type in the phrase pizza delivery in Google, into Google, uh, let's say, pizza delivery in Fairfield, they do that into Google, right? Type in those words, they will view your, your ad and order your delicious pizza. pizza. However... That is not the case and it costs you money. By default, your or ads shows for a huge variety of searches that you never that we never intended for just because we are using this default of using a broad keyword. So your keyword pizza delivery in Fairfield actually signals Google if you do not change it to something more specific, if you leave it broad. This will signal to Google to show your ad for searches such as, let's say, uh, how to cook a frozen pizza. That has nothing to do, right? Those two type of people are not have nothing to do in common. How to cook a frozen pizza is not what somebody was looking to actually take the action to take to call your business or take an order on your website. But a pizza, right? It's more of how to cook a frozen pizza, that person has a different problem. That person has the problem that they already bought the pizza more likely, and they're just trying to figure out how to actually get it ready right now, how to cook it, how to put it in the oven or microwave, etc. But still, if people are not paying attention, they will go ahead and click on your ad, and you still got to pay for that, for that click that is irrelevant. It's going to be a loss, right, of money. So the discrepancy between the search you intend your your ad to show for and the actually searches that trigger your ad is because the AdWords system uses different match type of keywords. So we already talked about the one that is called broad, right? Broad is, is as, as it sounds, is, is a broader, broader search. Then we have phrase type of match and then we have exact match, right? Those two are actually a narrow range of a search query that will come up when somebody uses for a specific keyword. So broad again, it's gonna it's gonna be too broad. Even Google is gonna start finding keywords that are not really re too related to the problems that the person went online to look for. It will it will show your ads to that person that has nothing to do right with what you are offering. Now you have a, a phrase meaning the phrase that you put in it, let's say pizza delivery and fur fuel, going back to that example, that a phrase is going to match. Or we have exact match, right? Like actually, or, or some of the, the keywords within a phrase will match. Or we have the exact match, which means all of the, the words in that phrase has to match, right? Uh, pizza delivery and fur fuel. If not, it's not going to show. Now, Obviously, here we are in Solano County. We have to identify uh, how many people, for example, are doing a search like that, pizza delivery, and then you decide how broad or narrow you want to keep it. In bigger cities like Sacramento or if it's San Francisco, let's say, you probably have to narrow that even more, make it an exact search, and even do a, a um, neighborhood type of um, of search related, right? Uh, just because you, you we are in the biggest city at that point. But obviously, in a small city here, like in Fairfield or even the county, uh, you probably don't have to be that exact. Just because if you are that exact, you may not find anybody searching for that those those keywords at all. So that's why it's important to do the research. 
to see how many people are looking for those keywords. So that was mistake number one, right? Do, do, do use keywords that were too broad. We already covered different uh, search types, match type, and provide some examples. So again, if you wanna be, uh, if you wanna get close enough to the stuff, uh, to, to the keywords on your ad, just obviously use one of the other tools like phrase or exact. Again, it's good to do our research to see the number of searches those keywords will have. Okay, so mistake number two is doing a keyword grouping, right? So AdWords, AdWords allows you to create and manage different campaigns and not grouping the keywords correctly into different ad groups within a campaign, it's another Google AdWords, AdWords mistake that you want to avoid. The error many people make is grouping all of their keywords into one ad group, which shows everyone the exact same ad. People are more likely to click on your ad if it matches the keyword that they search for by breaking it up by breaking up keywords into different ad groups, you can customize ads to be a better fit for the term that is being searched for. Go, let's go back to the pizza example, right? If I do uh, pizza and fur delivery in Fairfield, if I do pizza delivery in Solano County for some reason, and I do pizza, and, and let's say I have uh, locations on each one. Uh, if I do pizza delivery in Fairfield, if I do pizza delivery in Vallejo, if I do pizza delivery in Vacaville, if I do pizza delivery in Dixon, etc., uh, and I combine all those keywords into one group, then the problem is that it's, let's say I'm doing a search in Vallejo and it comes up with uh, pizza delivery in Dixon, that's too far, right? Uh, it, it makes not a lot of sense. So again, grouping it properly or even separating a campaign properly where you actually have to do a campaign for a Vallejo location, separate from a Dixon location, uh, again, just to ensure that the ad that is gonna come up is related to the Vallejo location and then the other one is related to the um, uh, Dixon location, for example, right? And depending on your system, perhaps even better because that way you can separate uh, the phone numbers where somebody can call or direct into a specific landing page where they will complete a specific form related to that store in a specific city. So I hope that makes sense. Now let's move on to mistake number three, right? Sending users to a homepage instead of a landing page. This is a big mistake I usually see with uh, um, small business advertising that perhaps I don't know if they're doing it themselves or they don't have nobody else that is handling that or the person that is handling, I don't know, just not sure what they're doing. So once you decide on your goals in AdWords, you need to send users to a page that matches the user's search and make it as easy as possible for them to convert. And I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen now just so that I spend some more time on this mistake, sending users to a home page and actually make sure that the matches they do, that the searches they do matches to uh, the page where you're gonna send them to. And I'm gonna show you, share with you some of the mistakes that I see over here. So for example, let's get started with um, a search that I did in reference to, let me go turn off my camera here, in reference to AC repair in Fairfield, okay? Now these are, looks like they're big advertisers. They seem to be tracking everything in, in a good way in a, and, and then using proper, um, I can't remember what this is called, right? The proper, the proper tagging and sources in reference to the, uh, the campaign for the ad. So the first one I wanna cover is this one, morehvac.com. I don't know if they're you know, nationwide or what, uh, but the offer says over here, $20 diagnostic service call, right? And so when I click on the ad, I'm expecting at least to see that offer, $20 diagnostic service call. Um, Uh, not sure if they're in Fairfield, but again, they come up. Let's see. Let's see there is Santa Rosa. I'm not sure if they have in an area over here in Fairfield or if they will make it all the way to Fairfield. Um, 
see, this is one of the things that uh, if I'm doing a search for Fairfield and you don't have a page that tells me takes me directly to air conditioning repair in Fairfield, instead it says Santa Rosa. Also, we live here in the, in this area. Not that Santa Rosa is very far. A uh, 24/7 emergency AC repair may turn into waiting another day just because obviously Santa Rosa is far. Uh, and even though this is clean, right? Some information you have your your call to, the form to complete and the call to action. It looks like they're tracking everything pretty good. You have your phone numbers to call and everything. Even though they're doing all that great, where is my coupon that they promise? My offer, the twenty dollars diagnostic service cost. All right. Uh, here's another one. AC repair Fairfield, thirty dollars off. Okay, that's great. That that's very similar to what I was looking for. The keywords matches, and here's even an offer to maybe click on it. Great, awesome, right? They even incentivize me to click on it. Okay, let me see. Oh, I go over here again. There's too much going on. They take me to the regular website. I see all this stuff. I may get distracted by all that. And again, it says Woodland. Where's Fairfield on this this page? Huh? And and where's my offer? Where's the call to action? Where's the like it says contacting us. Oh man, you mean you're gonna make me work and, and click over here and go to another page to actually get in contact? I mean that's great. You have this uh, chat area. That's that's good, right? Um, at least I can ask questions. Where like where where is my coupon? And why is saying AC repairing woodland when I'm looking for I'm searching for AC repair in Fairfield? Now let's go again. And I don't wanna. This company probably makes a lot of money, right? They're doing the they tracking properly. They're tracking the campaign properly as I, as well. Uh, so I don't want to say they're doing anything wrong, right? I'm I'm not sure how much money they make. That's just some of the uh, things that will improve by me looking from a different perspective from outside. Now, if I look at this one, AC Repair Fairfield, and I see uh, it doesn't say AC Repair Fairfield, but I like how they have an offer and they take me to a page that is so clean and clear what I need to do, and the offer is right there as well. Okay. Um, I again, I'll probably take into a page where none of this will show up, so I don't get distracted, and I go straight to where I need to do. Now let's go with dentist and Fairfield. Let's see, let's see this one. So Access Dental, I see this one. Access Dental, your family dentist, affordable dental. Um, so this one are in Fairfield takes me to a page that is in Fairfield, but again, it takes me to their website and it, I see they have a call offers. That's great. Right? So at least I, I know how to get in contact with them. But again, it is, there's a lot of information that's taking people to a website where there's not a lot of information, excuse me, where there's not a lot of information where they can just go ahead and complete what they never they need to complete. Because if I'm, if I'm looking for dentists in Fairfield, more likely I need to get some work done okay uh so this one is not too bad i mean at least they track it on facebook and and, and google so that's great now let's see this other one over here uh back build dental professionals uh looks like they track they have a tracking campaigns they tracking google analytics and google but they're not tracking on facebook um and which one is that one best back dental professional this one over here, so dentist in Vacaville. So again, I mean, Vacaville is not far at all, right? But I'm looking for dentists in Fairfield and dentists in Vacaville. So it comes up. I mean, I, I'm sure people will take the trip over there, but alert to those dentists in Fairfield, right? You got people taking your customers, so you may want to do something about that. You may want actually want to step up and advertise, but again, this. Back build dental professionals taken to a page that is their home page. It's it's not something that is it's um clean and clear, right? What I need to do. I, I want you to go ahead and we are back build dental and this is why you should contact us and, and boom, fill up the form, uh call us. As instead, right, we got all this information, latest news or services. I get distracted with all these buttons over here. Oh, I see your hours. Um, why I don't need to know that. I just want to know complete a form or or, or or get a phone number to call you. Uh, this one over here, Waterman, Water Waterman MFS. 
it takes me to this page where there's a lot of information and this is the infer field but look at all that it takes me to all this at least they have a contact page over here right but it takes me to the main website uh they this this is this is costing me a lot of money because they they using advertising but they're not even tracking the visitors right so how are you gonna know if, if your ad is working or no i mean yes you know because you're putting money into it uh, and, and some people may call, but how are you going to know if people are calling or um, how are you going to know the return on investment on your ad, right? Um, so again, yeah, no tracking, a lot of information. Now, this one over here, I think is, is the worst. This one looks like it has a lot of money, uh, Aubrey Dental, and they are in Oregon. Uh, looks like they're only tracking on Google Analytics. Um, they don't even have pixel. So with Google Analytics, I'm not even sure if they have remarketing enabled, right? To where I can have uh, my advertising follow people online that visit my website. But uh, this is the way, see, they they are in Oregon and I'm looking for, uh, I search for dentists in Fairfield and their ad come up. So I don't know if somebody watching this video for some reason has some contact with Aubrey Dental Group. Um, well, I'm sure dentists around the area probably won't contact them, right? Uh, let's, let's have them continue to uh, waste their money advertising to people in Fairfield far away from where they're located. Uh, it says Dental Group. I don't see any location in, uh, here in our area. So, uh, and again, they just take them to uh, their main website, right? Um, yeah, it has a book online, it has a contact us, that's great. But again, we're taking people to our main website. It's not matching the search that I did for, which is um, for dentists in Fairfield. And I just want to go ahead and complete my form or get a phone number to call as opposed to take, get taken to all this information that I see over here. So if for some reason, you have any uh, questions in reference to your Google AdWords or you seem to yourself to be doing any of these mistakes and perhaps would like to take a look, help you out, uh, analyze what you're doing and how it can be improved, feel free to call, right? Visit my website, digitaltrack.co uh, or call me or text me at 707-410-0307 uh, or email me at info at digitaltrack.co. Uh, there's a form there you can complete in case you want to um, go ahead and uh, get in contact with me, uh, get a free analysis, no obligation at all. And I hope this video was valuable to you. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below as well. You, the link should be somewhere out there. If you find it helpful, go ahead and give it a like. Again, my name is Leo with Digital Track. Have a good one. Bye.